ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the most anticipated fight in the history of cooking? In this corner, we have the George Foreman Jr. In this corner, we have the Big Easy Allness Turkey Fryer. Gentlemen, I want you to obey my rules at all times. Stop when I say stop. Resume fighting when I say resume. Fight! Good morning, YouTube family, and welcome to another episode of This and That. Yes, it is your boy, Rosen, your soon-to-be number one YouTube host. There's nothing wrong with a little friendly competition. When we were growing up and we wanted to resolve an issue, who could catch a ball the best, who could dunk, who could shoot the best. We always did a little friendly competition and that's what we're gonna do today. George Foreman Jr. versus the Big Easy. Now, we got some chicken halves. I already got my chicken halves uh, seasoned. I already got them in a little marinade. Now we're gonna put, and these are chicken halves. And I already got these cut. I got them cut at my local poultry shop. And I wanna get four birds. I wanna get a two regular and then two split in half. And I wanna get one of the whole ones seasoned and one of the halves seasoned. So four birds, two halves, two regular, and then one in one season. Thank you. All right. If you have a local poultry shop, that makes things a whole lot easier. And most of us have one within a 15, 20 mile radius. I went down to my local poultry shop. I looked around, I lot some other customers in there and they got everything in the poultry shop you could think of. They got seafood, they got turkey, they got chicken, they got uh, uh, ribs, you name it, at your poultry shop. So if you have a local poultry shop, take advantage of it. Go get your, I got my chicken cut in half and I got them seasoned, so they were ready to go. I simply put a little marinade on it, let them sit for about an hour, and now they're ready to go. So, we're gonna take one chicken half, we're gonna put it in the uh, George Foreman, we're gonna take the other chicken half, we're gonna put it in the Big Easy, we're gonna set them both for about an hour and 15 minutes, we're gonna set the timer on the George Foreman for about an hour and 15 minutes. When it goes off, we're pulling them both out. So let's get started. take the basket and I think I haven't tried this before but I think this chicken half will fit in the basket perfect and I love this thing you simply take your clamp you put that in it's kind of serrated on the edge Put it down as tight as you can. You pull back on this little lever, push down on the other end, secure whatever type of meat you got in there. It doesn't slip around or anything. Put it through these two holes. Put your end on. George is ready to go. We're going to drop this down. We're going to go ahead and set our timer. Like I said for about an hour and 15 minutes, you can see she's rotating. I already got the big easy heated up. I got the basket in place. We're just going to simple it. Take our chicken half, drop it down in the big easy. And just like that, we're done, and the competition is on the way. All right, fam, we're about halfway through the cook, and both of these are looking fantastic. But in fairness, since this one rotates, I think it's only fair that we go ahead and rotate this one. 
So we're gonna take her. Oh, she's already falling apart. Oh. All right. So we rotate that in the uh, honor of fairness. We're exactly about 35 minutes through the cook. So now we're gonna wait the other 35 minutes. We're gonna pull them both off and we're gonna see when we find us a judge to judge these. We'll be right back in 35 minutes. All right, fam, we got about 10 minutes. Everything's looking good. I called my daughter and my son-in-law. Right now they're having breakfast. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some aluminum foil in the bottom of this tray. I'm gonna write George Foreman on the left and Big Easy on the right. Just in case I forget or I get turned around. We're gonna make a couple of aluminum foil trays on each side. Like so. that way even I won't know which one it is until we get there until we finish unless they look a lot different all right so as soon as they finish I'm gonna put each chicken in its perspective tray take them over to my daughter-in-law's house and we'll do a taste test see which one tastes the best which one has the most uh, flavor which one is the most moist See you in a few. All right, fam, the timer on George just went off, so she's done, which means it's time to go ahead and cut the gas on the Big Easy here and here. Now, we're going to let them sit and cool off for about 10 minutes then we're going to go ahead and pull them both out looks fantastic we'll open that door let's, let's go ahead and we're going to bop these up bring this video to a close there there. You can see I love this George Foreman tray. Pull that out. Pull this one out. Put it right there in this perspective spot. Pull this one out. Put it in this spot. So, I'm gonna go over to my daughter's house, my son-in-law's house. I'm gonna let them taste test and we'll see if which one comes out best, uh, if either, or they come out the same and see who is the winner. Oh. 
Hi there. You still asleep, boy? Morning. Morning. Let's do a test. See what we got. See who the heavyweight champ is. Unzip this. I've been using this thing a lot. For real? Yeah, it's my second, third time using it. That's pretty cool. Did you tell you this and that family that it was a gift from your daughter? No, I didn't. Well, you should. Well, this was a gift from my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> now. Ooh, sure does smell good, my, my goodness. Jeep, my Jeep smells delicious. Oh, and I don't know which one is from which. I do. Get a fork. Yeah, and y'all just tear off a little bit of piece, see what you think. I might let your mom and grandma test it. Alright, okay. I'm not doing this. Like right here is fine. Yeah, that's fine. There ain't no rhyme or reason. Man. My goodness. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Woo! It's good. Yeah. I'll try the other one. My goodness. Should I have like washed my mouth out or something? I don't know, huh? It'd leave the same taste. Can you tell the difference? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You chip it. That really? That was really good. If you had this, mm. give it a score. Oh, a score? Cause if, can I just choose one? Yeah, choose yeah. one. Yeah, okay. This one's staying with me. Grandma and Mama can try that. <laughs> Let your husband test it. All right. <laughs> hey, buddy. What's up? What's up? Hello, boys. Let's do a taste test. Want some water? Rinse your mouth out. I'm good. Oh right! Really? Yes. This one's got. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. No, no. Okay. Tell it. What's the guy? What's the guy? A lot more of that seasoning soaked into the meat. Okay. Oh, this one, I feel like everything's on the skin. This one's like soaked in. I guess like, that's all what the I'm seasoning's feeling. all the way through the meat. Yeah, yes, because I whenever it was in my mouth, it's like, like super juicy. Yeah, and like. See that right there? Pops. What? That's a G. George that's Foreman. Foreman. Oh, the George wow. Foreman beat my. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, go ahead. My Ooh, turkey yeah, fry. That's where it's going. <laughs> ah. All right, wait, wait. Yeah, like pops. Yeah. Wow, that is good. I like hot and I don't like hot. You like, you like hot, hot and you don't like hot. Yeah, you like you like hot enough to eat it, but not too hot where you can't eat it. That wasn't a big enough bite. But you can still tell. No, they are both good, but yeah, they're, they're both, both good. good. But this one, it feels like it's more juicy. Yeah, and like, it just holds in all the seasons. And I'm yeah. a fan of Kentucky Fried Chicken. That almost has a little Kentucky Fried Chicken mm -hmm. type moisture and yeah. and right. the seasoning all the way through. I'm just gonna have to suggest that you leave, or uh. Mom and Grandma won't have enough to taste. Yeah. Well, I let them test it and bring it back. Mm. I mean, you could do really? a whole other chicken if you want to. Just well, like actually, that. I do have two more halves soaking. They're marinating right now. You marinated them in the same thing? Yeah, I, I seasoned them both exactly the same. Put them on exactly the same time. They're about the same size. I tried to keep it all. Right. Right. You, might you ain't lying. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, all right fam. Walk, walk away. Walk yeah, away. walk away. Yep. Woo. All right, fam. Right there you have it. So what do we say? George Foreman. George Foreman. All right. There you have it, YouTube family. George Foreman beat my... <laughs> all right so this video has been helpful give her a thumbs up if not give her a thumb down 
If you like what we're doing here, this and that, consider becoming a subscriber. If you do become a subscriber, then hit the old like bell so you'll be notified every time we drop one of these. Awesome videos. Awesome. Awesome. Peace. Awesome. Peace.